What's going on guys? Thank you so much for purchasing our new digital diffusion pack. I just wanted to go through and explain how this works and how to get these effects into Premiere. Uh, it's going to be working up in our uh, effects controls tab, but first we need to import the presets. So if you come up here to effects on the side panel, um, if you don't have this, it's going to be uh, in the effects preset. Uh, so then you'll pull up effects, you're going to go right click, and then you're going to go to import presets. Now after you do that, you're going to go to where you save the effects pack, and you're going to click on the one that you have, and then open. That's all you have to do to get them in. So once you dial down presets, you'll see that they are all here. Um, then all you got to do is come down. You're going to go ahead and duplicate your clip. Uh, the way this works is it's going to work on opacity. So we have to have a clip underneath that so that um, the effect won't show through to black. It's going to show through on our clip. And it's going to work over in the effects controls like I said. But first, let's go ahead and put the effect on our clip. So if you go over, grab whatever effect you want. Um, we can do half diffusion, full diffusion, um, quarter diffusion. We have presets so that you guys don't have to go in and adjust things too much. Um, but you know what? I like full diffusion better. So let's go ahead and pull in full diffusion. You're going to put that on your top clip. Once you put that on your top clip, that's all you really have to do. And it's working. As you can see here, turn it on and off. It is working. Now, I want to also show you here that this is what's happening. It's working on a Luma key, so it's only going to show through in the highlights, just like a real filter would. So let's go ahead and come over into our effects controls. I'm going to show you how to adjust it if you want to adjust um, just the amount of blur and haze and diffusion that you're getting. So if you open up transform and you go down to opacity, that's all you have to change and you'll get either a really dreamy effect or you can bring it down and get a not so dreamy effect or turn it off. And so that's the only thing that you have to change. I like 15, 15 keeps it at a good spot for me for the full diffusion one. And that's really it guys. Thank you so much for purchasing and I will catch you guys on the next one.